Hey guys, it's Code Rosum here and welcome to the part 2 of this series creating a REST API with Node.js and MySQL. In this video, we're gonna set up the development environment and the project. So let's get started. First things first, we need to install Node.js and MySQL on our local machine. So to download Node.js, head over to nodejs.org and download the long term stable version of node.js by the time i'm recording this video it is 12.16 i have already downloaded and installed this and also you need to download mysql as well to install mysql on a windows computer you can install vamp server or samp or if you are on mac you can download and install mam once you downloaded and installed MySQL and Node.js, let's begin setting up the project. Create a new folder uh, on your computer and I'm gonna name this Node.js MySQL API. And go inside that folder and open the terminal. I'm using git bash but you can use your default terminal of your operating system. Alright, make sure you are inside that folder in your terminal. Right. Now we are going to initialize our project. We can initialize our Node.js project by typing npm init. This will walk you through some configurations. For the package name, I'll keep the default value and also the version. For the description, I'll enter a REST API with Node.js and MySQL. For the entry point, I'll keep the default value and I don't have test commands. Currently, I don't have Git repository as well. For the keywords, I'll leave it to blank and author my name, Tarindu Lakshita. And license, I'll keep it to default. And yes, this is correct. I'll type yes and hit enter. You can see a new file has been created called package.json. This is where all our dependencies and all the configuration of our project is defined. Now let's open this up in an IDE. I'm using WebStorm, but you can always use one of your preferred IDE like Atom, Sublime or Visual Studio Code. I open this up in the IDE. Let's take a closer look at this package.json file. This is where we define all the dependencies and all the configurations of our Node.js project. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna install Express as a dependency. Express is a Node.js web application framework that provides a lot of tools to develop web applications with Node.js and it makes the development so much easier. So I'm going to open up the terminal of the IDE. This is same as the terminal of the operating system. You can use that without any problem. I'm going to type npm install dash dash save express. This will install the express package. And once it installed, you can see a new folder called node modules has been created. You don't have to mess, the, mess with this folder because uh, <coughs> it is where all the packages and libraries are installed. So we don't do any change here. Now I'm going to create a server. In languages like PHP or Java, we run our application on third-party servers like Apache, 
glass fish but in node.js we write our own servers we run node.js applications uh, by writing our own servers so i'm gonna create a new file here i'm gonna name this server.js and i'm gonna define my server here and before defining the server i'm creating another file i'm gonna name this app.js and this is where I define my express application actually this is the entry point of our application all right I'm gonna close these two files and I'm gonna install another dependency which is sequelize sequelize is the ORM we are using ORM stands for object relational mapping so with sequelize or any other ORM you can talk to the database very easily you can run queries without writing SQL and it is so much easier when you are defining relations so we are using SQLize here it will makes the development so much easier and so much faster so let's install SQLize I'm gonna type npm install dash dash save by the way this dash dash save uh, command it will create an entry in the package.json file like we did when installing express so uh, once i install sqlize it will create a new entry called sqlize right hit enter it will install sqlize and i'm going to open up the package json as you can see now we have two dependencies packages uh, in our application all right now we have installed express and sqlize now i am going to initialize sqlize i'm going to type sqlize in it this will create some additional files and folders in our project uh, as you can see these messages in the terminal that command created few more folders the config folder inside that the config.json file this is where you can define the database credentials uh, depending on the uh, environment and the migrations folder where uh, you can create migrations and the models folder where you should create model files and seeders all right now we have installed express we have installed sqlize and we have initialized sqlize as well and now we have some project structure project folder structure to organize our project files so now we are ready to start development so in the next video we will start writing some code by adding some controllers and routes keep in touch with the channel hit subscribe if you haven't already like it share it and if you have any concerns please let me know in the comment section so see you guys in the next video